Hello from Bling Your Band. I want to talk to you about sanding the band. We include sandpaper with every order and our instructions are to lightly sand the band. We occasionally get feedback or read on forums that someone didn't do that on the advice of the clinic. I saw in one post that a mom reported that any amount of sanding the band was unsafe and the band would lose its shape. I thought a video about this would be more instructive than just words on a page. This is sandpaper like we include in our shipments and it is unused, brand new. I'm going to sand this band and we will see how much material I took off and if the concern seems reasonable. Now the good news is you don't really have to sand the band. No one will get hurt if you don't. But the decals and Mod Podge and paint may all be much better experiences if you do. Now I'm not really going to paint this helmet immediately after or decorate this helmet immediately after. Um, it's possible that if I was getting ready to paint, maybe I would sand this another minute. I feel like I'm actually doing a pretty good job on this. Now you can see the sandpaper post sanding. Um, maybe I've taken some dirt off, but I really don't see any white plastic and I see almost nothing taken off um, and stuck to the sandpaper. If we look at the paper, you know, there's just a little bit of dust on here. Um, I don't see any white from the band. If I look at the construction of the band, that looks like it's maybe 3 16 inch white plastic. So some clinics will tell you that this band is now uh, damaged and out of shape from that sanding. But I'm assuming that the band is designed that you could do that and it's still okay. So I really don't see how a light sanding um, influences the integrity or structure of this band in any way. And I tend to think their no sanding rule is a little bit like some of the rules that we have in Cub Scouts. My kids are old enough now that uh, they're in Cub Scouts. And Cub Scouts have a lot of rules of you can never do this and you can never do that. And um, of course, in practice, the people who say those rules go home and then don't follow them. But these rules are kind of required because Cub Scouts is full of many, many kids. And they don't know, you know, this kid might go off unsupervised and he might do something wild and crazy because he thought it was possible. And they don't want that to happen one single time. So they make the rule that no one can do this ever for any reason, no matter what. And so I think the no sanding the band is because um, some guy went home and uh, he had a, a power grinder of some sort. He had a power, a power tool or a belt sander. And he said, I will get that band sanded. And he tore it apart. And then from then on, the rule is, you know, you touch the band with sandpaper and it's now broken, which I don't believe. And I don't think that's reasonable. Um, I wanted to create this video so that you could kind of see for yourself the level of sanding that I'm getting. Um, am, I, am I really removing material? No, I'm not. Um, before and after, I can feel a little bit of roughness um, difference, but that's about it. I just feel a little bit of difference. I haven't taken any material off. So you can follow the rules and no one's going to get hurt. But if you want a robust band that doesn't give you problems, um, I believe that the number one um, uh, important step with painting is definitely sanding. And with decals, um, with sanding, we would get feedback from maybe one in 50, one in 100 people that, hey, um, the decals are not sticking. I put them off and they just flop right off. Um, we started sending sandpaper to those problem bands it solved the problem every time. And so one out of 50, one out of 100, that was too much of a problem for us. So we just started including sandpaper in every order. So most of the time you don't need to sand the band to just apply decals. 
but we don't want one in 50 of our customers to be unhappy. We don't want one in a hundred of our customers to be unhappy. So we include sandpaper in every order. And with paint, the number one important uh, step in painting, in our opinion, is sanding. Um, you can use the most expensive paint uh, and without sanding it, it might peel off. Um, you can sand the band and then use some really cheap paint and there's a, a very good chance that it will stick much better than the expensive paint um, on an unsanded band. So we do this every day. Um, your happiness is our goal. Um, we don't ever want to say, oh, you got a bad result. That's, that's on you. Um, if we can educate you, if we can lead the way, that's what we're going to do. Um, thank you for your time.